crazy chef big vibe not a lot of people can cook rice and rice is not really popular in a lot of places in the Caribbean and Central America people eat a lot of rice in Jamaica people eat a lot of rice and peas or rice and beans whether you call it rice and peas or if you want to call it rice and beans like they do in Mexico today we're giving you a simple easy recipe how to make Jamaica rice and peas the key vibe is to get your rice so shelly not too soft not too hard and to have that delicious Caribbean flavor crazy chef big vibe today we are making rice and peas as it says in the title I'm gonna give you a detailed description of the recipe in the description box below but it's very important to follow the video what you want to do is you want to get a dry coconut if you don't want to use a dry coconut you can use that stuff in the can but this stuff is better you want to have your rice you want to have your beans what you want to do is you want to cook your beans until they're soft if you don't want to use dry beans you can use canned beans there's always ways to make your life easier it's the taste that matters not the preparation so you get some so if you don't want to use dry coconut that's fine the important is your seasoning your spices and it's most important is the amount of water that you use but the dried coconut gives it that vibe like it really make it taste that much better and to get the juice from the coconut all you gotta do is take a dinner knife uh, take the meat from the coconut and then you grate it or you blend it I'm gonna leave a link in the description box which tells you how to separate the coconut so crazy chef big five today we're making Jamaican rice and peas if you want to call it rice and beans that's what we're making if you want to call it rice and peas that's what you're making but today I'm giving you that Jamaican vibe so take your peas you boil them you can also cook them in a instant pot which makes the cooking process way much easier way much better way much faster but I like to do it the old-fashioned way kind of like my grandmother did it you throw the peas in there you cook them you put some more water you cook them a little more until they're soft you add your coconut milk then after you add your coconut milk that's when you add your spices right you, usually the spices are you know scallions garlic pimento you know you add a little butter you add some oil on it you put a little olive oil in mine and once you put all that spices in right i like to add a little chicken seasoning it makes it so much better when i add a little chicken seasoning and then you let that boil you wash your rice what you want to do when you wash your rice is you add water like a couple of times you can wash it a couple of times drain the water off wash it a couple of times drain the water off and then you add your rice very important the amount of rice you use to the amount of water they can be too much rice they can be too much water as I say I'm gonna leave the measurement in the description box but hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button key vibe right remember I told them I'll give you some key vibe see how my rice is right now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn my flame all the way down all the way down I'm gonna turn my flame and I'm gonna just let my rice simmer so see a little bit more salt because I tasted it was the vibe I wanted Add a little chicken seasoning beautiful a little more scallion a little more time but the key vibe right now is to turn your flame 
all the way down and just let it simmer crazy chef big fan look at that rice open that pack oh my god look at that look how it just flakes that's some good rice look at that that's some good rice crazy chef big vibe if you like the channel subscribe to the vibe support the video hit that like button hit that like button crazy chef big 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 vibe like share and subscribe